In this video, we're going to talk about the controls panel where you can manually control and monitor your farm bot in real time. First, choose a move amount in millimeters or use the default value of 100. Then click one of the arrow buttons to move FarmBot in the positive or negative X, Y, or Z directions. Note that if FarmBot is already at the maximum or minimum position along an axis, that arrow button will be disabled. Additionally, when FarmBot is already moving, the arrow buttons will become grayed out and disabled, preventing you from telling the FarmBot to move again while it is busy. To help you keep track of the movements in real time, the button that was clicked will show as a progress bar. The current coordinates in millimeters will update, and there will be a log in the status ticker indicating that FarmBot received the command and is busy moving. And of course, you can also watch the virtual FarmBot move across the map in real time. In addition to the arrow buttons, there are also go to home and find home buttons, a camera button that allows you to take a photo, and a power button with shutdown and reboot options. Below that, you'll see three input fields for the X, Y, and Z axes, and this is how you can instruct FarmBot to perform an absolute movement. Simply enter the coordinates that you want FarmBot to go to, press the go button, and then it will go there. Next in the controls panel are the peripherals controls. Based on your FarmBot version, we've already added all of the stock peripherals included with your kit for controlling things like the vacuum pump, lighting, and water. If you'd like to change the name of the peripherals or one of their other properties, you can press the edit button here and make your modifications, remove peripherals or add more, etc. Digital peripherals are operated using toggle switches while analog peripherals are set with sliders. For example, if you're going out to your garden at night and you want to quickly turn on the lights, you can use the lighting toggle to operate the lights. Below the peripherals are a virtual representation of the buttons and LED indicators on top of the electronics box. Clicking one of the virtual or physical buttons will execute the assigned action or sequence, where the red button is for e-stop, the yellow button is for unlock, and the white buttons can be customized. I usually like to set one button to find home, one button to toggle the lights on or off, and one button to turn the water on for a few seconds. This allows me to move my farm bot out of the way when needed, toggle the lights for nighttime harvests, and wash my hands with a quick rinse, all without having to pull out my phone. And finally are the webcam feeds, allowing you to add video streams of your farm bot from a home security camera, such as a Nest camera. To add a stream, press the edit button and add the feed name and the URL. Then save and you'll be able to view your farm bot from that security camera. Now let's talk about the sensors panel. Note that if your farm bot has no sensors, this panel may be hidden. But if your farm bot does have sensors, we'll have already added them based on what was included with your kit. Depending on if a sensor is analog or digital, will determine how the sensor is shown here in the panel. Pressing the read sensor button will instruct FarmBot to take a reading. You can see that after reading the tool verification sensor, it indicates whether or not a tool is currently mounted to the UTM. If I press the read soil sensor button, we will get a reading, though if the tool is not currently connected, that reading could be false. So you need to make sure that the correct tool is mounted to the UTM before performing the reading to ensure accuracy. Below the sensor controls is the sensor history graph, which allows you to visualize sensor readings from a specific sensor over a specific time period and also filtered by the location that the sensor readings were taken at. There is also a table of all of the raw sensor readings that match the current filters in case you want to inspect individual values. And that concludes the overview of the FarmBot web app's manual controls, peripherals, and sensors panels. For more information, navigate to software.farm.bot to read the documentation. All right, see you in the next video.